Both the traveling public and the airport security community were shocked by the ease of which the 9-11 terrorist hijackers were able to pass through the numerous high-tech security checkpoints in airports in both Boston and Washington in order to carry out their horrific plans. Since 9-11, the pressure from government agencies and the public to seriously upgrade security at all airport checkpoints in both Canada and the United States has been intense. Airports have responded by spending billions of dollars to beef up pre-boarding security measures. One of the new security technologies being introduced at airports is a face recognition system called biometrics. Cameras capture images of people that are then compared to digital photos of known and suspected terrorists stored in a computer database. However, aviation experts are quick to point out that biometric systems that analyze physical characteristics like face, iris, or fingerprints take too much time and would increase the number of flight delays and cancellations. Also, biometric systems only work if the person is already a known terrorist with information and a photo on file. The Transportation Security Administration has also invested heavily in explosive detection machines. Over 1,100 of these devices have been set up in 400 airports across the U.S. at a cost of $350,000 each. Again, experts are quick to point out that even the most advanced bomb detection device would not have stopped the terrorists on September the 11th. They essentially used the aircraft as bombs. The painful reality is that regardless of how sophisticated the technology is, the technology is only as good as the people using it. Employees working at minimum wage seldom have the police training and certification necessary to be 100% effective. Once terrorists are on board an aircraft, the pilot and the crew are left to face the militants alone. They are the last line of defense. This is not reassuring. Terrorists are well trained, religiously motivated, and already committed to suicide in order to complete their mission. Some flights may have an armed air marshal on board to deter hijackers. The image of an air marshal opening fire in the close confines of an aircraft is not a good one. The chances of inadvertently puncturing an airline wall or hitting an innocent passenger are extremely high. Reinforced cockpit doors should be installed on all planes by some time in 2003, but they will still be vulnerable to any determined terrorist with plastic explosives. Is there a solution to deterring hijackers once they are on the aircraft? Yes, there is a very viable, workable answer. It starts here, when passengers are issued their tickets. At that time, they can also be fitted with a special electronic ID bracelet that they will wear until they disembark the flight at their destination. These electronic coded bracelets will make traveling much more convenient for the public. It will replace the need to carry a ticket by containing all pertinent passenger information. In addition, the bracelet could permit tracking of the passenger through the terminal, including carry-on luggage. Checked luggage can be coded to match the bracelet to ensure no tampering or diversions. By further equipping each bracelet with EMD technology, the bracelets will allow crew members using radio frequency transmitters to quickly and effectively subdue hijackers. The electromuscular disruption signal overrides the attacker's central nervous system and will render even the most elite and aggressive terrorist completely immobile for several minutes. This will allow the crew to subdue and handcuff that individual. EMD technology is designed to incapacitate a target from a safe distance without causing permanent injury, which means these criminals will survive and go to trial. The bracelet would only be armed by someone on board upon confirmation that a takeover situation exists. To a businessman on his way home to be reunited with his family, or to a young family going south for a winter holiday, wearing an EMD safety bracelet for a few hours during a flight is a small inconvenience to ensure their safe arrival. We feel if given the choice between taking a flight employing the added security of the EMD safety bracelet system and taking a flight without the additional security, 
many, if not most, passengers would happily opt for the extra security of the EMD safety bracelet.